Hi guys, today I'm going to give you very important information regarding outboard carburetors. You can use the same information for different brands as a Honda, uh, Yamaha, Suzuki, uh, Johnson, Evinrude, uh, any different horsepower, it doesn't matter the horsepower, it doesn't matter the brand, as long as the carburetors, they don't have the air filter. Take a look guys. So this particular carburetor is coming from 15 horsepower Johnson. Pretty much the same carburetor is in 9.9. .9. Okay, and this is the air box. As you can see guys, there is no air filter. So the air goes through the air box and it goes straight to the carburetor. So this is your chalk. And this one over here is your draw cell. Okay, so mysterious problems. You probably clean your carburetor so many times. You dip it in a clean solution. You use a ultrasonic cleaner and you still have the problem. The carburetor is working so so. You have no idle speed or something else happen. This is one of the, the problems. The second one, when you use the motor on the lake and at some point the motor mysteriously uh, start having problems, it is working or dying or you can start the motor and of course you have a fuel filter to prevent any blockages from the fuel site. Here is what can happen to the motors and this is extremely important. Uh, it could happen to any outboard motor as long as if they don't have the air filter okay let me start with the lower part of the air box so the airflow goes from here and take a look guys this is a little hole that is over here on the air box that little part goes to the carburetor over here there you go some carburetors they don't have the air box. They're just are plain carburetors without air box. But you can still have the same problem. Okay, so imagine, I'm not sure can you see it from here, but there is a dirt inside. Imagine the engine compartment, it's very dirty. There is a sand, there is a clay, there is some dirt and whatever you can imagine. And at some point when the engine is working, a little piece of sand or anything else, could be a part of leaf or something, can go over here, straight to the hole. If that little part go to the main drossel, it's no big deal. The engine, it's gonna swallow this piece and that's it but if the part goes over here a little piece of sand or something it will travel straight here and may stuck over here at this point it could go all the way down here it may travel all the way to this part of the carburetor and it stacks over here so some carburetors are definitely they have a different design from this one they have a different uh, inner lines, they're not exactly like this one, but anyway, if the sand stuck inside somewhere here, it could be a big problem. In very rare cases, you're going to find the particle over here, because well, this is the needle. When you have the needle all the way down, the opening is very small. And it's really hard something to travel inside to this box. So, in most cases, all the dirt will stuck here, here, here somewhere, and here. In some cases, also could be over here. And this can cause a lot of problems. If there is a clay, you can remove the clay if you dip the carburetor to 
a carburetor cleaning solution or if you're using uh, some uh, mineral spirits also can dissolve the the clay but if there is any scent or any hard piece this could be a huge huge problem uh, it happened to me uh, some carburetors they're like stubborn donkeys they doesn't matter what you do they still have the problem so if you're lucky uh, you can blow out the the little piece with the compressed air I'm repeating myself it doesn't matter how many times you can dip the carburetor to carburetor cleaning solution or ultrasonic if there's anything stuck here the only way out it is blown with compressed air. Some carburetors, they just don't respond. Whatever it happen, happen, you can't do anything about. Or maybe you have to keep trying, keep trying to the moment when this little part is going to give up and, it, and it's going to come out. Um, what can you do? So get a little wire if you see my other videos you're gonna see the little wires you need this one guys you need this wire so just get a fresh piece okay cut it off and just peel a part of it okay. this is what you need Straight out as much as you can. Okay. So try to go inside to the main hole. You can try to go over here from the side. You have to travel this way. I'm not sure, can you see it? You have to travel this way and you have to travel this way from here. So we can take a look. There's a little entrance over there. There you go. See? So right now, the wire is going all the way. And it goes somewhere up to here. Make sure it's long enough. You can cover this a little part at the end. It's going to stop right in this position. Okay? Same thing over here just try to go that way you can go to the main jet so this is the main jet over here also when when you do this one the wire must be straight as possible and never have to be bended okay now i'm going to bend the wire if the wire is bended once don't go inside the carburetor because if it's stuck, it may lose a part of it, and this could be another problem. So when I bend the, the wire, I can go over here. I'm not sure, can you see it, but this is, there you go, a few holes, like two or three holes, they're mostly behind this cup. Different carburetors, they could be in different location. Uh, with this, you can remove some uh, some of the dirt or something that is stuck over here without removing the cup. If you decide to remove the cup, there is always a risk to create an air leak around when you install the new one. Or you can also crack or break the carburetor during the new installation. Okay, so... Now I'm going to show you when I blow the carburetor, what I usually do. Okay, so this is important. When you go with the wires, the first thing that you have to do, you have to blow the air in this direction. If there is anything stuck over here, here or here, when you go in this direction, it may come out from this side or this side or any other openings. To do this one correctly, you can use this adapter. I will have additional picture from where this adapter is coming from. It's coming from 
uh, a vacuum pump if I'm not mistaken. Uh, if you don't have it, you can use a piece of uh, hose or something that fit really well over here. And when you go to the carburetor, you can take a look, guys. This is going to completely seal the opening. So now when you start blowing, the compressor will go in this direction and this direction. Of course, some of it is going to come out from here too. This is important. All oh, start from here this way out this is also very important when you clean the carburetor guys uh, some carburetors they have a little different design inside the drossel take a look this is right over here this is your main jet so have your finger on top of it close it down with the finger and when you blow with the compressed air the only way out it's gonna be this hole and this one and some of it is going to come out from the idle speed holes over here this is going to increase the chance to push the uh, sand or dirt whatever is stuck inside the carburetor if your finger is not there most of the compressor is going to come out from here some carburetors they have a little different design and you can put your finger but particularly this carburetor yes you can have your finger there block the main jet and it just push it out when you finish with this one you can remove the rubber and then you can go from here all the way in make sure when you, you when you blow from this hole have your finger over here below you have to feel the airflow coming from this side you can tell did the airflow is coming from this side or from this side but you can definitely feel it on your finger also when you blow the carburetor have your this finger over here and the drossel open and with this one you can go inside to the carburetor you're gonna feel the airflow also this is your idle speed openings when you blow from this side don't go all the way because you can damage it just go deeper up to here and make sure you're not damaging the threads too when you blow from here the air is gonna come out from this side it's gonna come from here it's gonna come from these openings too hopefully by doing this one you're gonna be able to push whatever is stuck inside the carburetor out never start from this side to, to push the part inside to the carburetor always start from here and you're gonna blow out the pieces if there's anything else inside this is important extremely important guys uh, now at this point when I use this wire I'm gonna cut it off and I'm going to have a fresh end and for the next carburetor I'll be safe to go inside but if you bend it once just cut it off what can you do to prevent this to happen well for the older engines this is really hard the newest ones most of them they have the air filter and the reason for the air filter is main reason is to extend the engine life to prevent any dirt any dust to go inside but this is the second main reason to prevent any blockages for this type of air box what you can do you can try to attach some air filter uh, i haven't done this one but if you want to play with something you can do it and don't forget this side this is another opening if you decide to attach air filter you have to attach something here or you have to just close it down this seal is also important and some air boxes it's missing take a look that one it doesn't have it this one has the the seal 
this is important guys if you have any kind of mysterious problems with the carburetors this is your answer uh, be patient with this you may have to play a few times with the compressed air any other cleanings too and this this could be the only way to, to get it out don't use this is important also don't use any carburetor cleaner spray if you think if you spray something here or here this is gonna help you no believe me no the the little piece of scent or any any dirt or anything else is still gonna be there because there is a mechanical part that is stuck it's not uh, a gum or clay or something just don't play with the uh, carburetor cleaners this this type of carburetor cleaners you have to mechanically push it out and then you can have a good carburetor I hope this information is important for you guys and I hope you understand the problems uh, if you have any questions uh, you can uh, do some comments I'll do my best to help you uh, I wish good luck to all of you guys and hopefully hopefully you never have a such a problem with the carburetors thank you for watching the videos have a nice day bye bye